try to to do a lot of things bad to um, to take our, our property and to destroy our house though they, 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 especially they tried to attack my mom they hit on they hit her on the back of the gun so up to now she's limping my mom she cannot walk it was very dangerous you were under threat um, every day you couldn't go outside somebody could just come and kill you and you know there's nothing you could really do about it we just had a few um, bags of clothes that you could pack some luggage that was it you're going somewhere and you don't know what's going to happen to you. You don't know what it's going to be like. Um, you're basically going into an unknown. The mission of the IRC is to provide uh, relief and resettlement to refugees, mainly who are victims of uh, war, civil war, um, or other types of conflict or natural disasters. The International Rescue Committee is currently operating in over 25 countries and 22 offices in the United States. We provide newly arrived refugees with safe, affordable housing, financial assistance, and orientation to the community, along with extensive referral services. Each family is assigned a bilingual, bicultural caseworker who provides services and monitors progress towards self-sufficiency for up to six months. Our services for newly arrived refugees include everything from picking them up at the airport, taking them to new apartments which IRC has paid for and furnished, getting the children enrolled in school, setting up medical appointments, and if it's needed, job placement services. Since 1976, IRC Seattle has resettled over 18,000 refugees in Western Washington. Each year, we resettle over 450 refugees and provide services such as immigration counseling to over 650 refugees and asylees in the Seattle area. Along with basic necessities, we provide support services. What we try to do is get them more involved in the culture of America through field trips, events that we have, and um, you know, just trying to get them more integrated in the community they live in. such a tremendous battle that refugees face trying to adjust, trying to learn everything that they need to learn, trying to find a way to belong. The IRC is trying to help with every level of that transition and not just achieve a, a new level of safety but to achieve a kind of belonging that will make it possible for them to remain it and, and be happy and find the kind of life that we all imagine they ought to have. It is an amazing place to live for the people who come from countries who have no human freedom, and lots of violations. And sometimes you can't believe it. A year ago, you were in detention camp. It's unbelievable. And I feel very, very happy inside.